This is the video that some people have been waiting to see, the comparison between the Micro Swiss NG and the Creality Sprite Extruder 4, Ender 3s, and uh, other retro type machines. I'll talk to you about that in a second. We have two Ender 3 Pros here. Uh, this is probably the newest machine, but when we take a look at the print, you're going to see there wasn't much difference anyway. We have uh, Salutec 3D filament, brand new out of the package, so there's no difference between our filament. I used a P... Uh, metal sheets on each printer so that uh you know the weight and everything is the same had to put a brim on this one because it did come loose while i was printing so i had to restart that but let's take a look at the results uh you'll see that these pretty much are the same print this is probably my second print, and it's not using my uh, Fat Dragon game profile, so it's a little bit different looking than, you know, you guys are familiar with my high-quality prints. I pushed a little bit more plastic through this than I would have liked, and uh, so that caused a little bit of stringing and zits on wherever we had to cross over between the models. And that, that was the same on both situations. We've got a little bit of stringies here, but, you know, nothing bad. Nothing bad at all. There's not much to compare as far as, um, you know, ghosting. We're not looking at that. We're just looking at extrusion basically and uh, everything came out very well these lines are supposed to be here it was a part of the uh, original bottle which was the I Dream a Genie 1964 Jim Bean bottle I modeled this exactly to the factory drawings and uh, I'll give you guys a copy of this model you can play with yourself there's a uh, dream of genie. So, the stoppers. Let's take a look at these stoppers. You could see results are pretty much the same as far as uh, results. I know you guys wanted to see a difference and say, oh, you know, I'll go out and buy that one, but you know, as far as uh, extrusion, basically the same models. This is a pretty sharp overhang. I'll take a look at how it did. This one uses the factory fans from your original hot end. Which, as we know, this one here is probably not all that great. So, I suppose you could cut the wires and install a high-speed fan. Get a little more air. There is air coming in from both sides on this. So, um, there is a slight advantage to that. But, it did use the same stock fans. This is the part that I took them off of. Now, if you wanted to install this hot end on the uh, any other printer, you could just go get yourself a Creality wheel cartridge and put that on your printer, and then you can install this unit and uh, happy trails. Um, the only thing I would have liked to see on this that they didn't include was wheels. You know, which I have. I have probably 50 wheels in stock, so I put some... Uh, put some clear plastic wheels on there so they don't give you the wheels let's uh, compare the bottom of these two models here let's 
I would have to say, looking at this, which is probably just a cooling thing. Uh, this one probably needs better fans. Whereas the Sprite extruder, they came with their own fans. And I know people have been modifying this, this bottom nozzle fan. They've been putting something bigger on there. But I just used uh, stock parts here. I wanted to show you guys what the results you would get using the way they designed it. I hope they uh, provided the model for this. I'd rather have a bigger blower fan on here with the multi-directional. But as far as our model print came, I would say everything is the same here. This is a sharp 90 degree almost. Uh, didn't need supports. So I would say the cooling on this one is slightly better. And you can see the problem with having just air blowing on one side because this is a real nice surface. And over here, it's not, because this is just a uh, one-direction fan. I would have liked to see air coming in on two sides, but that's not the way they designed it. So you do have a little problem on one side, whereas the air blowing on the other side is fine. So, Besides from that, as far as extrusion, these models basically are the same. This one may be slightly better. Uh, I think the retraction should have been a little bit more. 0 0.8 was definitely uh, low. I've never done an extrusion at retraction at that level. So, But I would say as far as cooling, this is probably a better choice. Now, let's get into choices. This is the great option for if you don't want to dig around inside of your box. If you don't want to open up your printer, start rewiring all this stuff. If you just want to drop a hot end in there, stick your cartridges in, put your fans on. You don't have to go inside your box for this. It's a good option for that. People don't want to go inside your box. Whereas the Sprite comes with a brand new wheel cartridge with the wheels. And uh, comes with the fans. And also they give you a really nice long ribbon cable. And if you were doing uh upgrade on a larger machine like the CR-10 or whatever, the cable that they give you is quite satisfactory for that. This is what the cable looks like. you got your end that goes into the hot end. You can see this is quite a long cable, so you don't have to worry about that. You could probably put this on even a bigger machine than... CR-10. That's just probably over, over uh, three feet long, one meter. They also give you all the connections for your motherboard, including the uh, CR Touch. So you can go into many retro boards and wire this in. I have some... Arion thinker printers that I'm going to maybe put this on. There's the Mingda D2, which I have sitting around. Uh, I was never happy with that hot end. So for those printers, yeah, where you got a whole new ribbon cable and everything, go right back to the motherboard, start plugging these in. You plug these into many, many, many boards without any issues. So good for retro machines. I think... This is the best option for retro machines if you want to go inside and uh, start connecting to your board. Give you everything you need here. Quite a nice, uh, quite a nice assembly here. 
very happy with that. The only thing I would have liked to see, like I said, was the air coming from both sides. But, you know, what do I know? I've only been printing for years. And uh, here's the wheel cartridge they give you. So, for uh, upgrading an older machine, I would suggest this go into your motherboard. Install this one. They're both about the same price, $110 or something like that. Uh, a Micro Swiss NG is a good option for the people that don't want to touch their motherboard. I had no problem with uh, getting my filament in here. You know, basically a nice, nice setup, which was what I was expecting from Micro Swiss. And I actually picked up uh, three of these. So I'm going to be doing some upgrades on some older machines. And I also have the uh, H2, which has been around for a while. So I don't have to make a video about that. These, uh, these happen to be new Eve hot in so I know that's what you guys were looking for I know you were looking for some kind of different definitive results but you know I would say that uh, this model came out pretty much the same except for the little cooling which you know you could take care of that yourself Take care. Happy printing. Thanks for watching. I know this is a long video. Uh, I dream a genie. If you're old enough, you know what, I, what that's all about. Take care, people. Happy printing. I'll see you on the flip side.